Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a bunch of packs for patrons, and hopefully we don't look like this guy at the end of the video. Let's introduce the patrons. We have Louise Philippe Brochu, Chad O, and Matteo Vianti. Thank you guys for being patrons. So I think Louise Philippe is getting all of this stuff here. So pop those over there, and then four packs of set boosters for Chad and finally four here for Matteo. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a patron Chad. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, foils and anything over a buck. I'm also checking in the art cards and anything from the list along with the full art lands and right off the bat Grove of the Burn Willows signed art card. Fantastic. Look at that. All right, just double check. Yep, yeah, there we go, Chad. Enjoy. Put it the right way up. Okay, we have a planes. Scale the heights. Mind drain. Glacial grasp. Anticognition. Skyclave Sentinel. Taunting Arbor Mage. McKinney Ox Showcase. Into the Royal. Scion of the Swarm. And the rare is Swarm Shambler. Creature Fungus Beast. Zero zero for a green. Enters Badford with a plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature control with a plus one plus one counter on it, comes a target of spell and opponent controls create a one one green insect creature token. For one tap, put a plus one plus one counter on Swarm Shambler. A foil field research and a little ad card there. Nothing from the list, alas. On to the next. Okay, so not quite sure. Fantastic artwork, but what is it? Linvala Shield of Seagate. Okay, we've got an island pressure point. Disenchant Territorial Scythe Cat, Kazandu Necropot, Cleansing Wildfire, Skyclave Shadow Cat, Cat Horror, McKindy Stampede. Let's get that in focus, please. On the other side. We have McKindy Maces, Kabira Outrider with some weird ostrich riding action. Scale the Heights, and the rare is Yashan the Implacable Earth. The drain creature elemental ball, 4 4 for 4. So when Yashan enters battlefield, search your library for a basic forest card and a basic plains card reveal and put them into your hand and shuffle your library. Players can't pay life or sacrifice non land permanents to cast spells or activated abilities. And a foil Lithoform Blight with a Ruination Guide from the list. Creature Eldrazi Drone 323 with Devoid and Ingest. Other colorless creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Who is an Eldrazi fan? Let me know. Okay, on to the next one. And for some reason these packs like to disintegrate. Uh, Anawan the Ruin Thief, is it? Or some other thief? Yes, it is. Got it. We get a Forest Resolute Strike, Cliffhaven Soul Sword, Ardent Electromancer, Sneaking Guide, Creature Goblin Rogue, Lowell Mage's Domination, Base Camp, Kazul's Fury on the other side. We've got Kazul's Cliffs, Marauding Blight Priest. And Akiri Fearless Voyager is rare. Legendary Creature Core Warrior 333. Three, three. Whenever you attack a player with one or more quick creatures, draw a card for a white. You may unattach an equipment from a creature you control. If you do, tap that creature and it gains indestructible until end of turn. And a Nimble Trap Finder, another rare here, very nice. Creature Human Rogue 2142. Nimble Trap Finder can't be blocked. If you had another Cleric Rogue Warrior or Wizard enter battlefield under your control this turn at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party creature control gain, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card until end of turn. And a foil royal eruption. And another card from the list. Golgari Thug. Nice one. Creature Human Warrior. 1-1 one, one for 2. When Golgari Thug's put into a graveyard from play, put target creature card in your graveyard on top of your library. And it has a dredge 4. Okay, good to see a bit of variety in the list. I think they're saying there's over 300 cards, so that's always fun. Quite often there's cards that I've never seen before. Okay, so I have seen this one recently. Merfolk something something Tazim Royal Mage. Okay, that was a disaster. An island, Angel Heart Protector, Shepherd of Heroes, Marauding Blight Priest, Core Celebrant, Seagate Banneret, Skyclave Plunder, Balagad Recovery. Okay, so this is one of the few uncommons worth over a buck. Balagad Sentry on the other side. Chuck that in. 
Seafloor Stalker and Shadow's Verdict is rare. Sorcery for 5. Exile all creatures and planeswalkers with command mana cost 3 or less from Battlefield and all creature and planeswalker cards with command mana cost 3 or less from all graveyards. And another rare here, Thieving Skydiver, creature Merfolk Rogue, 2-1 for 2, has Kicker X, X can't be 0, has Flying, when it enters Battlefield, if it was kicked, gain control of target artifact with command mana cost X or less of the artifacts and equipment attach it to Thieving Skydiver, and a Foil Seagate Banneret, and a Magic Minigame, Royal Royale. So there you have it. So enjoy the pools, Chad. Very nice signed art card indeed. Scoop them up. Okay, so now we're going across here to Louise Philippe Brochu. Thank you for being a patron. So getting stuck into Core 2021. Starting off with a Soldier Token, Thornwood Falls, and a Foil, Pride Malkin, with a rare Ghostly Pilferer. Creature Spirit Rogue 2 1 for 2. Whenever Ghostly Pilferer becomes untapped, you may pay 2 if you do draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card, discard a card, and it can't be blocked this turn. Uncommons Cultivate. Law Scale Coadal. Kinetic Auger, and the common Sky Scanner, Goblin, Arsonist, Rousing Reed, Radiant Phantom, Run Afoul, Rise Again, Portcullis Vine, Feet of Resistance, and Goblin Wizardry. Okay, Oath of the Gatewatch. Still hunting for fetches here. We actually did pull one recently, so that was a nice surprise. Out of a different box, I might add. Okay, we have Abstruse Interference, Akum Flame Seeker. Searing Light, Loam Lava, Witness the End, Netcaster Spider, Crumbling Vestige, Containment Membrane, Hedron Crawler, Reaver Drone for the Uncommons, Nissa's Judgment, Bonds of Mortality, and Rare is Overwhelming Denial, Instant for 4, Surge 2 Blue, it can't be countered by spells or abilities, counter target spell, and a Foil, nice one, Foil Rare, Hedron Alignment, Enchantment 3 has Hexproof, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal your hand if you do. You win the game if you own a card named Hedron Alignment in Exile in your hand in your graveyard and on the battlefield. Have you pulled that off? Leave a note in the comments for one and a blue. Scry one. And you get a nice planes and plant token. Okay. So moving on to Theros Beyond Death. Still hunting for the Titans. It's been a while. Okay, we have Stampede Rider, Nyxborn Corsa, Vexing Gull, Aspect of Manticore, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Nyxborn Colossus, Arena Trickster, Warbriar Blessing, Unknown Shores, An Uncommon's Banishing Light, Nyx Herald, Sweet Oblivion, and a Mythic. Nice showcase. Perforos, Bronze Blooded, Legendary Enchantment Creature, God 7 6 for 5, has Indestructible. As long as your devotion red is less than five, Perforos isn't a creature. Other creatures you control have haste for two and a red. You may put a red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto battlefield. Suck at the beginning and the next end step. Good deal. And a foil rare temple of abandoned land enters the battlefield. Tap when it enters the battlefield. Scry one. Tap it for red or green. And a mountain and human soldier onto El Drino. So who are the heavy hitters here? We've got Oko. Um... Oh, what's that other one? Leave it out in the comments. I can't remember the name of it. Okay, we have Bartered Cow, Moonlit Scavengers, Barjin, Rose Thorn Halberd, Foreboding Fruit, Lockthrain Paladin, Ginger Brute. He is one of the good ones, but not terribly valuable. Alas, Trapped in the Tower, Golden Egg, Idyllic Grange, Sorcerer's Broom, Archon of Absolution, Red Cat Melee, and the rare is Piper of the Swarm. Creature Human Warlock, 1 3 for 2. Rats you control have Menace for 1 and a black tap. Create a 1 1 black rat creature token for 2 and 2 black tap. Sack 3 rats, gain control of target creature, and a swamp and boar token. Okay, so there we are, Louise Philippe. Enjoy the pools. And. Finally, across here we have Matteo Vanti. Thank you for being a patron. Four packs of Zendikar Rising set boosters for you, sir. Good luck. And actually, I think Matteo has had fantastic luck in recent months. So, yeah, see if that continues. So, we've got a Jace, a Swamp, Scorch Rider, 
Blood Beckoning, Field Research, Merfolk Wind Robber, Thundering Rebuke, Low Mages Familiar, Skyclave Cleric. On the other side, we've got the Skyclave Basilica, Seagate Banneret, Gouldra's Mucklord, and this lighting is a little much, isn't it? Okay, and the rare is Oren Roof Ooze, Creature Ooze 223. So when it ends the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever it attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature with a plus one plus one counter on it. And a foil Oblivion's Hunger. And triplicate spirits from the list from M15. Okay, let's arrange things like so. On to the next one. So I think we're doing pretty well with uh, cards from the list so far. Oh, here he is. You know his name, don't you, Omnath? Okay, you are banned, sir. Mountain Chilling Trap. Practice Tactics. Cleric of Chill Depths. And now I'm thinking the lighting is a little dim. Back to where we were before, I guess. Expedition Healer. Acquisitions Ex Expert. Soaring Thought Thief. Dreadworm Showcase, Canopy Bailoth, Veteran Adventurer, and Charix, the Raging Isle Legendary Creature, Leviathan Crab 017 for 4. Suppose your opponent's cast at target, Charix Raging Isle costs 2 more to cast for 3, he gets plus X minus X until end of turn, where it's the number of islands you control. And a foil Shepherd of Heroes, and nothing from the list this time. On to more set boosters. Okay, that looks rather swampy to me. Is that a swamp? No, a grim climb pathway. Never mind. Okay, we get a foil mountain. Fantastic. Shepherd of Heroes. Marauding Blight Priest. Core Celebrant. Seagate Banneret. Kabira Outrider. Demon's Disciple. Prowling Felidar. Oblivion's Hunger. Scorch Rider and the rare Auron Reef Ooze again. Fancy seeing you here, sir. And a foil Turn Timber Aesthetic with a Magic Mini Game. Strictly better. So there we go, and one more pack to crack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so this, um, I think it was Magmatic something, Channeler, is that the one? Yes, got it. Okay, Swamp, Stonework Pack Beast, Seagate Colossus, Miraza Brute, Troll Warrior, we have been trolled, I nearly missed that. Synchronized Spellcraft, Attended Healer, Kite Sail Cleric, Umara Wizard, on the other side we have the Umara Skyfalls Cliff. Haven Kite Sail, Core Blade Master, and a Mythic Showcase. Morog, Fury of Akum, Legendary Creature, Minotaur Warrior, 6-6 six, six for 6. Each creature you control gets plus 1 plus 0 for each time it is attacked. This turn has landfall. Whenever a land and Spadfield under your control fits your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. At the beginning of that combat, untap all creatures you control. Good one. And a foil Akum Hellhound. And that is it. Okay, so I think we did pretty well today. Scoop everything up here. And pop those in there for Matteo. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.